Steam Series, championed by your Southern California Toyota dealers. And in this week's Steam Series, we are focusing on science, engineering, and math. CBS 2 meteorologist Alex Biston introduces you to an aqueduct manager. It's a once-in-a-career type project. Jennifer Barrick of the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power is talking about her work managing the overhaul of the segment of the California aqueduct known as the Cascades. This is the southernmost terminus point. Jennifer is a civil engineer. What's that? A civil engineer plans and designs infrastructure, our freeways, our water supplies. I'm also the aqueduct manager. If you've ever driven on the five freeway just north of the two towards Santa Clarita, you've likely seen this in action. Before it was closed for rehab, the Cascades was integral in helping deliver water some 300 miles from the Owens Valley up north to our reservoirs and water treatment facilities down here in the south. The California Aqueduct was the brainchild of William Mulholland. It's entirely gravity fed. There's nothing flowing here now. After more than 100 years of service, new splash walls are being erected. Worn out concrete is being replaced along with those blocks in the middle known as diffusers. These blocks along the cascades slows the water down, slows the velocity. Of all of the steam disciplines, Jennifer's work rehabilitating the cascades relies most on science, engineering and math. You're doing quality control of the concrete, ensuring that the design and the reinforcing steel and the thickness of the walls conform with the plan. Jennifer got her start managing construction projects early in childhood. I have always tinkered with things. At the end of March, the wheels at the top will turn, the valve will open, and the Cascades will retake its position as a shining star for a thirsty L.A. With any luck, the work Jennifer and her team are doing today will hold up for the next 100 years. It's extremely gratifying. Jennifer's advice to aspiring civil engineers, try out different hats and keep your mind open. You may think that you're a structures person, but as you start learning and maybe you're going to want to design more of the pipeline tanks. Best way to find your niche. Just really getting out and exposing yourself to what's available. And you can learn more about STEAM careers on our website, cbsla.com slash STEAM.